Okay, today we're going to be talking about congruent segments, and they're just segments that have equal measurements. Um, since the only way we measure a line is to measure its length, we're going to say that they are segments that have equal length. So down here I have two segments drawn already, and if you were to measure them, you would find that the distance from A to B is 5 centimeters. So we write that as A, B, and since it's a line segment, we put a little bar on top of it, is equal to 5 centimeters. Don't forget your units. Those are always really important in geometry. Okay, we're going to measure C to D, and you would find that the length is also 5 centimeters. So I write that C D is equal to 5 centimeters. And since they have equal length, we can say that line segment AB is equal to line segment CD. Or that AB and CD are congruent line segments. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's say you're given this information and they want you to find the length of a line segment AD given that AX is equal to 4 centimeters and XD is equal to 8 centimeters. So we're just going to label this right here 4 and 8. And since this is what we're trying to find. We can add AX plus XD to find out what AD equals. And this, this is called the addition property of segments. And it allows us to take one part of the segment right here and add it to the other part of the segment to find the whole measurement of the whole segment. So all we do is we, since we know AX is 4 centimeters plus XD which is 8 centimeters, we just add those together and you get 12 centimeters. Therefore AD the length of AD is equal to 12 centimeters. Now, the only reason we can do this is because X lies in between AD. If X, say X was over here somewhere, and this was X, and we wanted to find the length of AD, we couldn't we couldn't do anything with X. It's only because X is between A and D that we can add AX plus XD. And this makes sense if you think about it, because if you had a pizza and you had this much of a pizza, say this is one-fourth of a pizza, and that's how much was eaten if the rest of it was also eaten one-fourth plus three-fourths gives you the whole pizza. It's kinda like these are fractions of a line segment so that to get the whole number you add each part together. Okay, <clears throat> so using those two um, definitions we just learned, we're going to do some examples. Okay, so we already know that the length of AB 
is equal to 3. That's already given to us right here. So they say, if BC is equal to 12 centimeters, how long is AC? So since AC is the whole segment, we're going to take each part of the segments and add them together to find the whole length. So 12 centimeters plus 3 centimeters is equal to 15 centimeters. Therefore, AC equals 15 centimeters. Alright, so on the second one, this one's a little different. They tell us what the whole length is. If HJ, which is the entire li line segment, is equal to 10 centimeters, what is this part equal to? So using the same idea, we're going to take the whole length minus part of the length to find out what the other part of the segment equals. And IJ equals 5 centimeters. Okay, for our last example, we're going to put the two things we learned together. So if AB and BC are congruent, and AB is equal to 8 centimeters, what is the length of AC? Okay, since we know that A and B are congruent, that means that they have equal length. So if AB is equal to 8 centimeters, that means that BC also has to be equal to 8 centimeters. So to find the whole length of this, we're going to add AB and BC together. So we get 8 centimeters plus 8 centimeters equals 16 centimeters. So AC equals 16 centimeters. Okay, now that you understand the basic properties of line segments, um, be sure to come back and watch the next video which is going to go over the properties of angles.